Hello and welcome back to one shot. I am a little bit confused because I as I said I was doing all the penguin stuff last time and my save wasn't saving. I, I there was no auto save. So after I did the penguin thing, I could just force quit the game and redo it and do more penguin stuff. But now for some reason I haven't done anything. I haven't even quit the game even while force quitting. I just Continued from last time and for some reason I just went back down here to the bottom of the elevator and now there is an autosave like six minutes ago about when I exited the penguin room but that doesn't make any sense because it didn't save last time I wanted to I was gonna say like I want to go and progress with a photo puzzle a little bit just so that I could see for sure that I got an autosave and you know have been to the penguin even though that doesn't matter but just for the sake of it but now I don't know what that save file is all about so I've saved that one now I think I'm just gonna go and see if I can get another autosave and then I just want to load that autosave and see where the hell we are like, how did that even make any sense? So let's go back to... Uh, right, we just go to the library now. And just... Oh, no, stop. Just glue everything together. So, photo. And, whoops. Can... wait. Can you just show the photo? I don't know if I try that. Hey, look at this! No, I cannot. I can do that. But now, it doesn't save by just doing that. Did I try to show Kip's library card to Kip? This might be a bad idea because she might talk about stuff that I didn't really want to know. No, that should be fine because you, you had to talk about the Amber to get the like mega cutscene about Silver that I want to avoid. This should be fine. If I just show her... Whoops, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. This one? Aha! That is new! Oh, I see you put your own photo on there. Does that mean your name is Kip now? That was a joke. Well, that was cool. Great! It was worth coming here. And obviously it hasn't saved yet. Nope, it has not. So... Whoops, have to walk out. So I guess we'll have the cutscene with George, and that's kind of a good thing anyway, because I want to see, we'll see what personality we get now. I'm thinking like if I get two or five, I it might just be bad luck, I might still get them, but if I don't, then I want to see what the hell that autosave that mysteriously happened is, and then try getting this cutscene again and see if she changes, or if maybe that's depending on the, I don't know, the run, or... I don't know what would cause her to change, like when does the role of her personality take place? It, it might be when you get to the city, it might be right here, who knows? But for now, let's press the wrong button again. Let's try to have the cutscene. Oh wait, it might autosave now. No, it did not. Okay, that's confusing. Never mind then. So we'll just have to do this the real way. Oh, she's number five. Ah. Also the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. That that is the same. I've done that, right? The tower. Yeah. Silly old me. Yeah, I've done this, right? Okay, I don't know when this save happened, but I'm gonna load it now and see where the hell we are and see if I can get another personality. Ah, uh, we are here. That's weird, because yeah, it was saying... It, it was like 20 minutes later than the actual save that I was going off of, but... I guess it didn't really work that way, but that's fine, I suppose. I'll just stick with this for now, and we'll just see if we can get a different personality. I kind of imagine we can't, but 
We'll just see. Ah, uh, let's do it this way instead. I wonder what happens- oh! Okay, we- if this doesn't work or something, I might have to try this again just to see. What if you just- if you just show the library card to Kip, what happens? But then if you put glue on the library card and then show Kip, or show the photo of Nico to Kip. Uh, right. I should just try that. It's probably nothing, but might as well. Please be a different... roll. Ah, nice! We can do it! Obviously we can't do the entire game because there's more than... I mean, there's like solstice and stuff as well. Which I guess would be based on this. So yeah, that would be weird. I would actually have to play... Yeah, that, that doesn't work. But we can at least have this cutscene with all of the, the different roles, I suppose. Oh man, that's kind of unfortunate. So, yeah, it is the first time you get here, which... Wait, in Solstice mode, she wasn't the same as we had in the new game. I was gonna say that, like, oh, she would now be number one in Solstice as well. That's not true, right? It just, it was determined when we got to the city. So I can actually load my old Solstice saves and we could just read the, the George stuff there too. That could be kind of fun to do. It'll take some time, but once again, I've committed now. If you if you don't care, if you're bored, then you shouldn't have stuck around here for this long. You have to be a little bit insane to stick with this, but I'm I'm sticking with it now, so let's do it. And let's read the number one personality. So someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? I see. Caught wind of my genius and couldn't help but come see for yourself, eh? Um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Ah, but of course I can help. For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, Believe you're supposed to go in the tower. That's what I said. But how exactly? Through the tower entrance room. Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient, forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not! If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in a long dead language. Wow, that's very blatant compared to the other ones. The other ones were like, Oh, if only there was some weird book, maybe, which is, I mean, could just be a book in here, but no, that's in a long forgotten language, you know that's the strange journal. Then know that I, George, am fluent in several dead languages. I see. Okay, let's just go with this for now, I suppose, and just see how far we can take the number one personality. So, strange journal. Wait, let's show this. So, if you have any questions regarding books, then fear not. For I, George, the head librarian, know a lot about books. Okay, yeah. And if we go over here and try to sleep, that's not anything. No, it's not a good time for a nap. We have to do that later on. Oh boy, so now we're gonna have to do a lot of, like, actual progressing just to see the extent of all of these. Oh! Right, I got five last time, but if we get two again, I actually do want to read that, because I only read that in Solstice, and same vice versa. If we get the uh, five personality in Solstice, I want to read it. So let's see. Oh, right. Book. No, nope, damn it, no. Nope. Oh! I have- I do have this book, though. Aha! An ancient book, written by no less than the most ancient- Wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all, but it's written in a dead language nevertheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I see. Yawn. Excuse me. Oh? Oh, whoa? What's this? You are sleepy. Fear not, because I have read a book on hospitality before. 
and thus have prepared for this exact situation. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall. Yes, even someone as great as I must put the proper thought and care into a task like this. Excuse me. Go take a nap, small child. Take a nap and appreciate my hospitality. Guest rooms in the attic down the hall, in case you forgot. Okay. And... We can't show anything else. Amber? Nope. Alright, well this is interesting, so let's... Let's see what else we can get out of her. And let's go to bed, and it's gonna close the game, and yeah, it's, I'm like making a lot of uh, autosaves and stuff, but I'll just load back where we were, and do everything over again. So, sleep again. And one shot again. Yeah, this, this might take more than like one episode. This might be a couple of episodes just doing, doing uh, George shit. Oh no! A nightmare! Yes. And no other choices here. Alright, good morning George. I've done it! I have finished the daunting task of translating this journal. Oh, that was fast. But of course, I am the speediest translator in the re in recent history. Anyway, I made you a line-by-line -line transcript. It looks like this journal might be meant for shellag. Oh? Here, take a look yourself. Yep, you're near the tower. And, yeah, the thing is, like, even though I know what to do, I still need the three yellow phosphor items. So I can't just, like, break the sequence at all. Yeah, window will be gone. There, that that's the last of it. The rest of the pages are torn out. You didn't do this, did you? No! A shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah, well, I guess Shilag will have to figure out that one. Right. By the way, what does it mean by three pieces blah 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 blah? I don't really need to read Nico's lines. Aha! That is a question George can answer. It means you need items containing yellow phosphor, the rarest of the phosphors. Said to absorb sunlight for the longest time and never fade out. Oh, I do have blah blah blah. But alas, you are missing the third, no? Fear not, for George, collector of rare artifacts, will assist you. Here. Oh, and it's- wait, did that change as well? The one was like, facing up. I wonder if that changes depending on her personality. Maybe not. Oh, it's- it's like you. Yes! Now you'll never forget my face. The face of knowledge. Ah, thank you. Good luck on your journey, small child. George shall bid you farewell now. And let's talk again. Oh, do you need George to tell you what to do again? Yes, please. According to the journal, you must go to this small room at the base of the tower while having three pieces of the previous sun in your possession. With those three items at hand, you must stand in the room. This is pretty much the same, I think. And Shalag will do something about the the about floor patterns and windows. All right, thank you. Good luck on your journey, small child. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And there's nothing more with George except just at the very, very end, you get like the cutscene in the Save the World ending, then you actually do see George, and we know that it changes depending on what face she has at the moment. But for now, that is everything we can do with George in this playthrough. So I'm just gonna quit, and we'll do at least one more. My, my voice is kind of dying, so I'll see how much I can take here. But for now, let's do at least another one. You know, I kind of completely forgot that I was supposed to test the one-shot save utility just to see if it even works for the purposes that I want to use it for. But I guess we'll wait with that, this is a bit more interesting. And I also realized I wanted to test some stuff with a photo. Yeah, just quickly, let's see if she can say anything about the card and photo and glue and all of that. So, first off, what of Nico? Yeah, that's not much. I, I don't really care about all of this. I don't care! Stop! 
Don't overwork yourself. Yep. And then Kip's library card. Nothing. And then glitter glue. Nothing. But now let's put glue on the card. Whoops. And then show her the sticky card. Okay. Nope. Nothing. And then we combine it. And now we can show it. You put your own photo. That was a joke. So now we just do this over and over again and hope for the best. RNG, one in six. Well, I mean, at the at the moment it'll be four in six that we actually get a personality that I want, but we'll see. Be something good. Come on. Nice, it's two. We haven't done this one. I mean, we have, but not in, in this one. Excuse me. Hey! Who the heck do you think you are, barging- Wait, no. This is what we did get. Right? No? Oh man, I can't even remember. Did we get Sundere, George? I think we did. Yeah, two is the one we got. Five is the one we had in Solstice, right? Yeah, manners are still a thing. To apologize? You haven't figured that one out yet? Yeah, we've we've done this, so I'm just gonna quit the game and we'll just try again. So I, I want five again, at least. We just have to keep doing this for a while, I guess. It's four! Nice, okay. Hello! You must be the savior! I'm so happy I actually get to meet you, heart! Oh dear god. It's nice to meet you too, miss! So, are you here to check out the archives? I can give you a tour! Actually... I need your help. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Yup. Blah blah blah. Nope. Gosh, I don't think anyone's supposed to get inside the tower. I mean, there's a little room that you can go into. But there's no stairs or elevators or anything else. If you want my guess, you'll probably need Shalag's help? Question mark? I don't know how exactly. In my experience, that kind of knowledge is usually recorded in some sort of cryptic book. But I haven't read anything like that before. Sorry. Hello. Well, since you're already here, feel free to check out the my archives. Or better yet, if you have any questions about books, I can answer them. I love books. Books, books, books. Oh boy. And let's see what she says about the book. Oh my gosh! It's a book! And not just any book. Golly, where did you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens. We found it in a safe. That's new, right? Right, Chaleg? Is that so? In that case, I know what I have to do now. I need to borrow this journal for a bit, okay? Gotta translate it. Oh, cool. It might take a while, though. That's fine. Gosh, you look really tired. A little, yeah. No worries, I have a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want, you can go take a nap. A cat nap? She doesn't even dispute it! She's so tired, she doesn't even dispute the fact that she's not a cat. Haha, <laughs> it won't be done for a while, sorry. Seriously, you should go take a nap before you overexert yourself. The guest room is in the attic down the hall, if you forgot. Oh boy, oh boy. Hello again. Hey ya, had a good nap. Mm-hmm. Goody. I finished translating the journal, by the way. Oh, that was fast. Well, you were out for a while. Anyway, it looks like this journal might be meant for shellag. Here, take a look yourself. Yeah, the rest of the pages were torn out. I guess you don't know what happened to those. Nope. Ah, I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah well, I guess Shalag will have to figure that one out. Out that one. Oh, of course! That just means you need things that contain yellow phosphor. They glow for a long time. Aw, oh, just two. Here, you can have this then. And it's not facing... The, the four isn't facing up, so that's the same regardless. Like me, right? Now you have... You have a little keepsake from the library. No problem, looks like you're all set. Good luck now. Oh, do you need me to explain again? All right, the journal says, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, that's the same. That's all there is 
That's all there is to it. No problem. See you later. Okay, see you later. Let's do this again and hope we get another personality. So we're looking for six, five, and three. Yeah, we haven't done three. Damn it, it's two again. Five, there we go. Okay, this one is like not new, but we haven't read the lines here, I'm pretty sure. So let's do it. And yeah, this is definitely gonna be the, the last one for today. And I guess we'll do the uh, two remaining ones next time. Oh boy. Oh, hello there. You must be the savior. And also the, wait, the cutest darn thing I've ever seen. Have I, I am so confused. Which one did I do? I guess I, I like remembered sort of the, the personality and I just quit. Didn't I, or what did I do? I'm just gonna read this because I don't think I read this one all the way. The cutest darn thing I've ever seen. Can I help you with anything, sweetie? Ooh, that's right, the tower. I know there's a small room that you can go into, but I'm afraid nobody knows how to get in beyond that. Not even silly old me who spent her entire life reading books about the world. I think this is new. I think you need some help from Shellag, but I don't know any details. I've never found any books about this before. You'd think there'd be at least one book on this, but I guess that's just how it is. Goodness, this is quite the dilemma. Can I help you with anything else, dear? If you have any questions about books, well, I am a librarian. Okay, and show her the book. Oh, she moved, damn it. Really now? May I take a closer look, dear? Oh, oh my, where did you find this? Yeah, the barons. Hmm, I think I'm supposed to translate this for you. Is it all right if I hold on to the journal for now, sweetheart? It might take a while, I'm afraid. Go for it. Oh, you poor baby. Goodness, you must have worked so hard to help us. I think you deserve a nap, no? A nap does sound nice. I have a guest room upstairs. It's just down the hall to the right. Don't wear yourself out now, dear. The guest room is just down the hall to the right. I wonder what the last two personalities could be like, because I don't even know what others you could possibly have. I mean, obviously there's many possible personalities, but the kind of stereotypical ones. I don't know. We'll see. Good morning again. Had a good nap, dear. Wonderful. I have the translation ready for you now. It looks like this journal might be meant for shellag. Here, why don't you take a look? That is all there is to translate. Looks like the other pages have been torn out. Quite a shame. I was wondering what window was supposed to mean. Ah well, I guess you lag, blah blah blah. That means the stuff containing yellow phosphor. They glow for a very long time, so people call them pieces of the sun sometimes. Very good, dear. And I can help you with the last one. I know, isn't it silly? But now you'll have something to remind you of the library. Good luck now, sweetie. I wish you safe travels. Oh, would you like me to explain again? And yeah, this doesn't really change at all. Best of luck, sweetie. Oh boy, okay, there we go. That's four out of six personalities done in this timeline. And then, yeah, I'm gonna do that in Solstice as well. Once I finish this run up, Hopefully get the one-shot achievement. We'll actually load some backups and... Again, I need to... At some point before we end this runoff, I want to try out the save utility to even see if I can use it, because that will affect whether I show some of the things or not. Like, I definitely won't play the game eight times just to get a couple lines with Rue if I have to do that manually. But if I can edit it, then definitely. Hope you enjoyed, though. I'm enjoying this stuff a lot more than what we've been doing so far. This is actually pretty interesting and a lot of new stuff, but it won't last too much longer. Then we're just back to the normal testing again, and we have to navigate the tower and all of that, which is going to take a while. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.